Cantor Debbie Kachiko Gray. And uh, we all have a lot of time on our hands doing our social distancing. So I thought it'd be a good time to share some Swedish weaving with you. This simple pattern I'm gonna show you is for a young man who likes robotics. And uh, a lot of times I just make up stitches and this is, this is one of them. It kind of looked like the design that the mom had for his bar mitzvah invitation. And I thought I would try and incorporate a little of that on his tully. So this one literally is just going down, up, over, down, up, over. Very, very simple. So I'm gonna start with this blue. And the rule of thumb for any kind of design is if it's a little bit, a little bit of motion like this wave, which I did make a little YouTube tutorial on it, uh, you need about one and a third, one and a half of length of thread of the width of the fabric. So you would measure one and then a half. And this one that goes up and down, up and down, up and down, uh, I would do about two and a half because you don't really want to run out of thread, uh, especially for a design like this where you don't have a long stretch where you can sneak in another long piece. So I always like to make sure I have enough. So I'm gonna try and show you how I do this one. So I literally just go, I put my needle through two floats and I don't wanna to pull too tightly. And then I just go down, directly down and over. So kind of like little boxes. And then up. And then down. And that is it. Extremely easy and fun. And then I have one that's just gonna do be like a mirror image of it in a different color in a gray. So I'll show you a little bit of that. And then I threw a gray sparkly uh, ribbon floss down the middle. I like to add sparkly threads because I think they make it very interesting. Okay, so I just went across, went through two floats. Okay, let's do this. Alrighty, see that? Super easy and super nice. And this silver is just going through there. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy your day.